Hey everybody out there on the internets, welcome again to Give It A Shot, the mystery box edition. Don't ask where that sudden spontaneity came from, I apologize, it'll never happen again. Well, if you're new to the game, it's pretty simple. I have five DVDs here from my collection and uh, I throw them in here and uh, shake it up and whichever one I pull out is what I will review. Now, these are all DVDs I've never watched before in my life. I don't know a thing about them. And uh, this time around, I've got a couple new ones uh, and a couple returning, so let's get right to it. Coming back again, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Goes Green. This is the really dark series with Princess Sally, because if you remember, they had to, whatever. You've seen it enough. Uh, another one uh, returning is The Adventures of Zobie, Jungle Jive. And, uh, I think this is all about exercise or something like that. It comes out of the state of Texas. And we've got mascots here, which, uh, yeah. Uh, another returner, uh, Bruce Harry's Bug Rangers, Harry Situation. Your guess is as good as mine. Not that I really give a shit about my guess. And our newbies. We have Danger Rangers, Safety First. Uh, this is an animated piece. Uh, Lord only knows, because... I don't even know if this is right to put on the screen, but uh, if I find this, I will definitely show it. There is a ship coming out of what looks to be George Washington's mouth. I, was, I almost saw that I saw Seymour Seal and I was about to like lose it. We don't talk about Seymour. And then finally, uh, this is this is this is the stuff of legend. I've seen this image before. I don't know the series well. This is Cherub Wings. I just know that this character talks, and it looks creepy. Now comes the fun part, where I do the Macarena. Stick my hand in here, pull out, oh dear god! <laughs> I get cherub wings! <laughs> oh. oh shit! I'm not ready. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, let's just get it over with. <laughs> oh! I needed just that to take the edge off of this thing's face. Holy Jesus. Literally. Um, whoa. Okay. Collect. 
good. All right. So this is cherub wings. I have seen snippets of this on uh, Everything is Terrible. I never known much about it. I just knew that there were clips of this thing. And I happened to find this at a McKay's. If you live in the South, you know what a McKay's is. Uh, specifically, if you live in, a te in, the tennis in Tennessee, uh, you know what a McKay's is. And I picked this up because it just, it spoke to me in ways I did not think. Oh, oh it would. But it did. And I'm now <coughs> going to share with you some of my thoughts already. There really isn't a story to this. There is only a theme. And this one is all about thankfulness. And if there's one thing that I am thankful for in regards to this, it is the fact that this cherub child is not in the entire film. That is one saving grace I am thankful for. This, if you couldn't tell already, this is a, um, this is a piece of Christian media. Uh, I've talked about stuff like this in the past, like Superbook and, and uh, Wooly World and, and others that I've mentioned in the past. This, um, I, and I, like I say, I've talked about this before, about Christian media. Sometimes it's done well, sometimes it's not. This, it's not the worst, but it's not exactly, it's bordering on heavy-handed is the best way I can describe it, because this this is going to be a lot to take in for a couple of reasons. One, the pacing. This thing moves so fast. Like, really fast. This thing does not take a second to breathe. It's like you don't even really get to absorb what they're teaching. And this thing is supposed to be geared for ages 3 to 7. I know they're, we're not making humans any better, but I can't imagine a three to seven year old having, you know, like a brain that operates faster than like, like the greatest supercomputers out right now. I, I don't, I mean, this shit was going fast. If anything, this cherub character is a sort of like an inter, like an MC. He's in there, he talks a little bit and it, like he's, he's barely on screen most of the time no longer than 30 seconds and then he's gone but those 30 seconds that this motherfucker is on there it's seared into your memory hard and because of that like this thing's only 25 minutes but it felt way longer because of all the shit they threw at you and this thing they even list them out, and I'm thankful they do, because I, I could not, I wasn't going to be able to remember any of this. I mean, it just hits you hard. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that there's a bit of a menu back here that I can follow, because if I didn't have that, it would be way worse. Jesus. <clears throat> so, I will operate from this back menu because it might help me a little bit. So the first item on the list is the Grateful Leper, which is a Bible story. 
about lepers, and they do talk about leprosy and what it is a little bit. Uh, they 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 kind of they kind of talk about what it does uh, <coughs> and why uh, these people, what what was happening to these lepers and whatnot, and then the whole story about just one come, ten were healed, one came back, and that only that one gave thanks. This one. The animation of this was like South Park. It, it, it had that vibe. Uh, because that's another thing about this, this, this particular um, video. There's no one set style of animation, which is nice, I guess. But I, I don't know how much divvying up the different, the different forms and expressions works. Because this, I mean, this one was... <sighs> Jesus just doesn't look right. <laughs> That's basically all I can tell you. Jesus doesn't look right. And the run cycles are atrocious. Like, Dingo does better. And you know that's bad when I say Dingo does better run and walk cycles than you. He remembered Jesus, and suddenly his heart became filled with thankfulness. He turned around and ran back the way he had come. So there's not much to that one. Uh, the thank you for this bright and sunny day in the garden. Uh, th so they had, basically this entire thing is musical, but there were two specific music videos. Uh, the thank you for the bright and sunny day, um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, some of this shit, some, some of this just kind of melts together. If I'm thinking about it right, the bright and sunny day song is like all these children who are contemplating the wonders of Jesus, of God's creation. I'm sorry, but no six year old is thinking about that. Uh, I mean, it's been a long time, but I remember when I was six and I did not stop and think about any of that at all. And they've kind of got that old, when well, they take pictures of these kids, like these images of these kids, um, <laughs> during, the, during the video, it looks like, um, like Ola Mills show, photos. They're just not, they're <laughs> not doing these kids any favors. Um. So there was that, and then there was the garden. The garden uh, music video, you've got this guy who's running around in a fake beard in a garden, so to speak, that looks like something out of the Berenstain Bears uh, attraction at Cedar Point. Wow, that was a long time ago. It looks something like that, and it's all about these uh, plants that are complaining that they're not another plant. And none of them are animated beautifully. The trees are extra creepy. Um, they look like rejects from Kirby's Adventure. Like they weren't the one to make it as the Willow. And so, you know, they had to take this gig instead. Like for whatever reason, they had to computer animate grapes. Or oh, a grape, not grapes. A grape. Uh, a daisy. And another flower. I want to say a geranium, but I can't remember. Uh, and they do not look good. This is probably part of the reason why I slammed the animation. They should have they should have stuck to a particular style and never left it. So your budget, most of your budget's obviously going to the cherub, and so what's left over, it just doesn't look good. They look like the, like the like the cher like the the grape looks like it just couldn't even make it on Veggie Tales. It just doesn't work. Um, but it's all about. Like how, you know, this daisy is so excited that it, uh, <laughs> that it's a daisy and you planted me there. And it's thankful for that. <laughs> Since you planted me, I'm determined to be the best little daisy I can. The other one that's in there, they, they actually had a story that was relevant, but not... It's one of those things that 
It may work, I don't know, but it was... This king throws a party every day. And some of those characters in there look questionable. They also look like rejects from a South Park episode. Like the poorly animated ones. Like, they make, um... Terrence and Philip look like uh, majestic works of art <laughs> in comparison. And if you know South Park, you know how they animate Canadians. And it's all about a king who has these party guests who just complain about God knows what. And then he shows, then he disappears and then comes out looking like a bum and just acts, does whatever. And then he leaves and then he comes back again except he's announced and he's the same thing because the the party guests were disgusted by this this strange person who came in and just ate all the food and whatnot. And it's supposed to be an object lesson of you don't even show up me gratefulness because I throw you this party every day. You eat my food, you know, you use my bathrooms for all I know. You know, and I protect you and you don't even and you know, all you do is whine. And they're like, oh, we're sorry. You say this man was very unthankful, but I wanted to show you how unthankful you have been. Like, that was the theme of the entire video about being grateful. And to a degree, it works. Uh, I kind of wish, one, slow the pace down. Uh, now, I guess I'm going to get into the theme animation and all that. Because there's no story. I mean, there's, this is just a hodgepodge of stuff that they threw together in this cherub here. This, this, face, this face of death uh, kind of ties it all together. And almost like some sort of weird anthology. And it, it, it wouldn't be so bad if they kind of just stuck to a particular thing. Like, it's one thing if you mix live action with animation. That's fine. But when you start changing up your animation styles throughout, I mean, I can see where most of the budget's going, and you shouldn't do that. You should stick to a particular thing. Or at the very least, slow down the pacing so that things can be appreciated and have a chance to breathe. Not just a constant pounding of new ideas throughout. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will give him praise. praise. I mean that that gets distracting, and it and and with all that fast pace, like it was like watching this beat me down. Uh, like all I kept on thinking was, oh, it's another thing. Until it was almost a blur. Like, I honestly can't remember uh, from the time the sun comes up. It's a scripture. I don't remember. I legitimately do not remember that. I don't. Maybe I'm confusing it for thank you for this bright and sunny day. But I don't know anymore. Because it just keeps coming. It just won't stop. <laughs> and then... The, the little cherub fucker, he laughs as much as any dingo character. In fact, I think it's like, like a quarter of what he does. <laughs> He's like, hi, and thank you, Jesus, and ha 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 ha. And it's like, fuck, man. And every once in a while, he just pop. This was something that real... Oh, 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 this was the thing that really killed me. They love this character so much that they will go into extreme close-ups when they shouldn't at all. Surprise! <laughs> if the kid had nostrils, I'd be looking up them and seeing his holy snot. I don't need to see any of this. But by God, it's there. Oh, <sighs> um, that's the thing about this. And I'm assuming, because there's no copyright date on this. 
that other than like who made it, which is Sunnyside Up Entertainment, there is no identification as to when this was made. Like if this was made in the late 1990s, I would let some of this slide. But it's not. I, I guarantee you it's not. Um, it looks to be newer, and then it does, then it confuses me with the live action stuff. It looks like they're pulling it straight out of the 90s. So I don't know. And it, it hurts. Dear God, does it hurt. That animation. That cherub just sears into your eyes, and you you, you think that you you you've got something right. You you get the understanding of what it's doing, and then it throws another curve at you with the with the side stories, and so just beats you over the head, like it's not awful. Who am I kidding? Yes, it's awful. It's it's terrible. It's beyond terrible. Because, like, in, in, in the spectrum of Christian media, right, um, there's, there's Christian media that I like, um, and I've mentioned them before. Old School Superbook from the early 1980s is wonderful. Still my favorite. Um, Veggie Tales which I'm not the most familiar with. I have watched some episodes of it. It's good. It's not excessively heavy-handed. It's solid. It's taking stories and doing something with them. It's good. Then you have the opposite side, where it's like, do you... It hurts to watch. Um, uh, Bible Man is a good one. Uh, Colby and Salty are also wonderful, wonderful things to look and cringe at uh, because of some of the way they present messages. Um, this is not there. But it's, it's, it, 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 if you were putting it on a spectrum between those two ends of, like, salty versus VeggieTales, it's going closer to salty and Colby than VeggieTales and Superbook. So, um, yeah. And I can't imagine, like, this is only 25 minutes, but I guarantee you somebody paid, like, $25 for this. Like, it's a dollar a minute for this thing, which to me is a, um, that's a crying shame. And that's the other thing this character likes to do. He likes to cloud board, so I'm getting a feeling this was at least 2005, bare minimum. I just don't know. There's, there's, there's some things that I, I, I just, since I don't have a date on this, I can't, I can't nail down when this is, but something is off. Something is definitely off. And it just doesn't gel because this was this. I had to go Vlad. This was oh oh that face. That will be in my nightmares. That is my new nightmare fuel. Is that face? And then to close it out, he references Chubby Cherub. But I gotta go now. My friend Chubby Cherub and I are going to go cloud boarding. An NES game, which I know they don't know anything about it, but still, that's what you did. You aren't good enough to reference Chubby Cherub, you fuck. So until next time, kids. Toodles. <laughs>